because the BBC literally didn't do a hit piece today, which I found quite surprising. I I clicked on this. I heard it on the radio earlier because uh, you know, stay with mum and and uh, she listens to the radio. Um, so every now and again, you know, I, I I go downstairs. All right, mum, how you doing? I hear a bit of the radio. I go, oh, it's a radio story. And they mentioned, but I didn't hear it was James Charles. Um, I couldn't hear who it was. I said, uh, YouTuber courses. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, here we go. Because obviously, usually the the BBC and many other outlets of similar ilk, old media, love to shit on YouTubers because they are threatened by their might and strength. But I found this, but as I was reading it to try and find if there was a hit piece angle, there's more of a hit piece angle from people they've spoken to. Um, sort of. But there are some interesting points to raise here. Um, if you don't know who James, James Charles... <laughs> if you don't know who James Charles is... Yeah. I don't really know James Charles too well. I do recognise his face, that he is, you know... I mean, he's this guy that does makeup tutorials. He's a geezer that does makeup tutorials. This is this is the twenty first century, bitch. Isn't that? I think that's cool. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, but what is his fruitcake? I think it's cool, man. That they're like, there's a there's a geezer out there, right? He was making millions. A a man, and it's not it's not one of those I'm not a men men. He's a man man. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Does he identify as he? He's one of those normal people. <laughs> yeah, he. James Charles, MPs reject no deal Brexit. Oh, good for them. Who gives a fuck? We're talking about this guy. This is so. James Charles is a man who's, um, as far as I know, has made his career from doing makeup tutorials. This is tw this is twenty first century shit, bitch. Twenty nineteen. There's a man is becoming a millionaire who identifies as a man from doing makeup tutorials. Like this was. Do you not understand what time we're living in and how great it is? Like, for all the people that shit on it and think it's fucking crap and... Oh my god! It's like... This would, like... Back to the 90s. You know, the fucking... If you were a 90s kid, you'd understand this. A punch in the face. A British bulldog. And eating a sausage that'll kill you. Like... This would not be possible. Um, like, 10 years ago. No, probably not. 20 years ago. Like, how much I've seen change in my short time on this earth is incredible. It's amazing. I mean, like, I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to. I'm like, that's, that's like, okay. Why the fuck not? This guy's making bank. He's adored. He's got fans that love him. He's living the life. From, from how? From sitting in his room, like me. Right? Just putting on makeup, and he's a dude. It's amazing. I had to just think about how amazing that is. Like this is the time we live in, and that is possible. That, that's fucking mental. Just think about it. Mental. If you're real young, you wouldn't understand. You'd be like, "What are you talking about?" But it is. It's crazy. That's like, wow. Yes, this is victory. Do you understand? This is a victory for everybody. If you really think about it, this is a victory, and I fucking love it. But obviously, you know, there's people out there that just don't understand that someone that could just talk into a camera could be so popular that 8,000 so 8, people, they reckon. Now, this isn't an Owen Jones 8,000, which is about 225. I think this is a real 8,000, you know, because um, I think it's the police who said it. So here we go. A YouTuber who visits, uh, whose visit to a store sparked city centre gridlock has said the 8,000 fan turnout was surprisingly normal. Yes, that is right. That's normal. It's normal because he is that popular. And, and you know, do you know James O'Brien? James O'Brien is someone that always appears on Facebook. Like going, oh, well, the thing is, right, he's always got an opinion about some shit. And people go, this guy's talking sense. But James O'Brien is clearly an out of touch person because look so James Charles was speaking on LBC after overhearing presenter James O'Brien say he was baffled at the huge attendance he's like I'm baffled at this huge attendance I'm absolutely baffled 
Shall we hear how baffled he was? Now, by the way, I have got YouTube open there because we're going to do the last hour of YouTube after we've dealt with the world's problems. Um, here we go. Right, so let's have a look. James O'Brien on James Charles. See if we can get the audio out of it. There's, you, there's, so let's see how baffled he is. <laughs> Seriously, are we doing that now? Well, here's a turn up for the books. Um, here's James Charles, mate. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, sir. Very, very nice to hear from you. This is a bit special. Are you, are you, let me guess, you're in a car or something and we were on the radio and you were sitting in the back and going, who's this clown talking about me on the radio? <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Yes, we are on the way to the airport right now and I overheard my name, asked the Uber driver to turn it up and here we are. How exciting. <laughs> right, first question. Is it normal for 8,000 people to turn up whenever you are um, attending a shop? Uh, surprisingly, yes. It's been amazing, and my fan base, which I call the sisters, are so loyal. Um, we just did a meet and greet in Toronto, Canada, a few weekends ago, and over ten thousand people were there. So it goes on to it's say been that getting article, by the way. not expecting that but, much. Come on, much. yeah, of course. Um, Do so many sisters love you so much? Will you forgive my ignorance, James, when I ask why do so many sisters love you so much? Yeah, of course. See, why do they love you so much? Why? Why would they love you so much? Why the fuck would they love you so much? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's so stupid. This is, this is always the narrative for these lot. Like, anyone from old school media is just sort of like, why do they like what you do? It's like, look, we've had a generation since Jade Goody was a thing, right? All right, PJ. There's been... It's like, and they found that baffling. It's like, but YouTubers do way more than those, so like that Z list period. Like, people who've been on fucking Love Island or, or celebrity, or no, Big Brother and become celebrities and so on and so forth. Like, YouTubers do way more than those people ever did. Right? So, we've kind of, we kind of had a little dip in celebrity where it was like, just the fucking bottom of the barrel of humanity of just these fucks are famous and they're just fuckwits they're just fuckwits absolute fuckwits you know no offense to them but you're a fuckwit you know jay goody was a fuckwit i mean come on that's why she was famous she was such a fuckwit they burnt effigies of her in india right it takes a lot of stupidity to manage that but at the same time jay goody helped boost um which apparently is now going down now a few years after her death which is sad but you know, she she increased the amount of people that got cervical cancer checks by like a huge percentage because of her death. I mean, it's a crazy story, Jay Goody. Like the ups and downs of Jay Goody. But no offense, I think she was a bit of a fuckwit, you know. And but I think we've moved past that. I mean, obviously, there's still a mainstream, if you want to call them normies and stuff, whatever you want to call them, that still like these idiot celebrities um, that people are on Love Island and so forth. Who just basically are just vacuous non-entities. I mean, you get a lot of vacuous non-entities on YouTube. Of course you do, because it's the broad spectrum of humanity. And there's a lot of fuckwits out there. But a hell of a lot of them are, are way better celebrities and way better um, and do way more valuable content than any of those fucks will. So I think we went. I think I think the celebrity humanity spectrum went. Ooh, into this field like uh, and then started going ooh, ooh, and now we're in the ooh, and it's all right but they're baffled by it going why do they like you i mean all you do is talk well, what the fuck do you do um i mean i've been making makeup right. me i take my hands through makeup yeah. life and what it's like being just a 19 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. inspire it's him. really cool to be Not him. have a really good time and make their dreams come true he speaks rapidly. An expert makeup artist, which is why your tutorials are so popular, but it, presumably it's not just the, the technical expertise that endears you to your fans and followers. They must have warmed to your personality. That, that... I like the way he's trying to break it down. It can't just be the expertise, but it must be the personality. It's like, all right, 
It's well, yeah, it's it's similar to fucking. Like, how do you not understand? <laughs> I think he's breaking it down. Like, like who's who's the dude who? Oh, the people on like changing rooms and stuff. Who's that? Like, change? You know, those celebrity handy men. Handy Andy. <laughs> like Handy Andy. <laughs> you don't know who Handy Andy is. <laughs> Look, this is Handy Andy. Let's get up Handy Andy. There we go. Here, look. Handy Andy, a.k.a. Oh, oh my God, has he got his own scrub? Oh, good for you, Handy Andy. There he is, Handy Andy. A.k.a. Andy Kane. Look at Handy Andy. Hey, he's a celebrity. It wasn't Handy Andy's expertise with a drill that got Handy Andy. I think it was his personality that got him on television. Um, I think that's usually... How it works in entertainment circles. You'll forgive me for not having watched any of your makeup tutorials. I shall rectify that immediately. Yes, you, you will, can James. teach, but the personality you have either got it or you haven't. So when did you start doing this? Absolutely. Yeah, so that makes sense, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's James O'Brien, who is an unfortunate look at his blemish skin. Like this guy really should be on radio, shouldn't he? Isn't it? So Birmingham City Centre was brought to a standstill on Saturday with Charles's appearance for partially to blame the city council said it would have planned for a major event if it had known of his visit in advance well you see that's the thing it's because there's a there's a gap there's this gap here about you know uh on radio on his radio show mr o'brien called for the listeners to explain why eight thousand people turn up to watch james charles open a makeup shop Adding he was generally baffled. Well, it's not like the Rolling Stones are turning on the, the Christmas lights. That I can understand. But this motherfucker? Why don't I know about James Charles, given that I read every newspaper <laughs> every day? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's it. You see? There's the gap. There's the divide. It's like they just don't get it just because he's not in the newspaper. It's like there is a microcosm. Is that the right word? I'm not using proper terminology. Forgive me. There's a whole world out there, bro, and you don't and you you can totally find out about it. I mean, you're on YouTube. This video's on YouTube. You know, you can find out. <laughs> it's like I'm, I've never heard of these Teletubbies. And I know I know it. And I know every child in the country. Uh, that does make sense, sorry. Um So here we go, yeah. So he talked about the Toronto Canada where uh, ten thousand people turned up. Charles added, I've been making makeup videos for around three years now on my channel. My career has definitely been quite a wild ride. So who is James Charles? So he's got about fourteen million followers, um causes Fans, sisters. Last year, he released his. Now, look, this is fucking crazy. He released his own eyeshadow palette that sent millions of teens and makeup lovers into a tailspin as they tried to get their hands on it. Now, obviously, they haven't really given us numbers to verify that, but I'll take it at face value. The palette, oh, the, the palette sold out worldwide within hours, twice. James Charles has his own makeup line that sells out. Like usually, that's for people like. Think about people who have done sort of makeup lines or fragrances, you know, big ones. You do some people like Victoria Beckham or uh, Paris Hilton, even fucking Jordan or um, Madonna or so on, you know. This kid is a YouTuber, man, and he's a dude. What a time to be alive! <laughs> and no one gets it they're like oh my god how does this happen my god can we not hate on him somehow earlier it said several regeneration and now they just go into just talking to uh, Birmingham Council I think Birmingham Council said it, it said had it known about the appearance ahead of time it would have planned for the visit as it does for other major events such as Pride right so and then it's just making excuses for why it came to a gridlock. <laughs> it's quite funny how they put like such a regular, everyday, boring British position on it, going, well, it's the council again, isn't it? Like, yeah. 
But, you know, it, it's the fact that ugh, I just love the way he says, I read every newspaper in the country and I've never heard of him. Well, why are they going to be talking about him unless he did something bad or did something they conceived as bad? They can't go after James Charles if, unless he unless he says something silly. But for, for one, they wouldn't go after him. Like, they go after Zoella or other people because, you know, he has that sort of, that that side of him that is um, loved by, you know, the liberal press. Because there's a dude putting on makeup. All right, that's just a fact. That's the kind of thing that they wouldn't go after because that's sort of no-no territory. Unless he does something really f fucking stupid. But he's never done anything... And it, like, and a lot of people haven't really done anything stupid, um, but they've still gone after him. But like, he's got a little bit of protection with that kind of that side of it. Just saying, that's, that's kind of something that is a thing these days. Um, but he hasn't done anything really controversial, um, so therefore, um, and he hasn't tried to push any envelopes. Although Zoella hasn't, but they always shit on Zoella. For some reason, they just loved shitting on Zoella, like. <sighs> I guess because Zoella's old school and they've kind of got used to this now and there's so many other people that you wouldn't really be shitting on James Charles um, I suppose so there's no re you know there's so many YouTubers who are quite big who mainstream media would not pick up on for various reasons um, there's just they have their selected targets for whatever reason there is Zoella because she was one of the big ones early on in the game and so she's one of the first YouTubers you heard about, you know, making millions that was talked about quite widely. So she was a fucking target. Um, so things have changed a bit. So I guess that's why, you know, there's no reason to go after James Charles unless he tries, unless he says something or does a video that someone doesn't like and they'll turn him into a target. But that's why you wouldn't read about him in the newspapers. He's not the YouTube whipping boy that they want. They're not going to go after him. Unless he does something. That's how it works. My sons. Oh, let me turn this off. So anyway, there you go. There's um, an old man with bad skin. Not understanding things. 